So, Craig, uh, here we are in San Diego, man. 2019 ETS. Yeah, I love this city. This is a cool city. Yeah. You know, it's not too far from our hotel here that the Navy SEALs are candidates for it. They, they get Hell Week where they've got to go through that. Mm. You've heard about Hell Week, right? Well, I know that the SEALs and Revelations sound kind of hellish, but <laughs> Revelation 6, yeah, those are pretty bad. Yeah. Well, I got some friends who are were Navy SEALs, and I used to know some active duty ones when my family lived in Virginia Beach. And man, those guys are just amazing. They, they have they have a, a mental toughness that I know nothing of. Yeah. And you're pretty tough. <laughs> I don't know about that. Not uh, the not story you to these guys. The story you told me about the the guys who were going to rob you, and you just straightened <laughs> up. And, that was just stupidity on my part. <laughs> <laughs> I, I confronted somebody who broke into my apartment one time. Yeah. Uh, and he had a knife. And I, and I had to know he had a knife because he wouldn't have gotten in without, you know, I mean, he couldn't have just done it with his hands. Uh, confronting him was probably not the wisest thing I ever did either. What'd you do? Well, I, di I didn't confront him. I didn't, you know, I wasn't violent. I mean, that wouldn't have been nice, but... Yeah, I, I was coming into my apartment, I was coming home. Uh, the, the doors had been locked, you know, but I turned the key in my door, uh, was starting to go in and I heard a rustling sound and somebody moving and I'm like, oh no. So I walked around to the back and what he had done, he had climbed up on top of an old refrigerator and, uh, and it was really hot and I didn't have air conditioning. So I'd left the windows open, I was just gone for an hour. He'd cut the screen and climbed into the, the window. So I, I went around back and he was just plopping out the window and I said, sir, would you please come here? I'd like to have a word with you. And he, he's walking away. I'm like, sir, I would like to have a word with you. He was smarter than I was. <laughs> he was he was getting out of there. <laughs> <laughs> Did you report him? Oh yeah, yeah, I mean, I called the police. That, where was this, Philly? No, oh. this was in Salisbury, North Carolina. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Philly. I lived. I lived on campus pretty much the whole time. So, if anybody broke in, they were probably one of my students. That's but true. no, they, there were nobody, a few floors nobody up broke too. up. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's kind of hard floor. to climb out that window, I suppose. Yeah, that would have been. Well, there was a way to do it, I, but yeah, I always had my key, so it was fine. <laughs> yeah, I remember those times that those guys surrounded me in I think Southeast Washington D.C. That was, um, and I. They, I confronted him on it and walked out alive. But uh, anyone interested in that, you can hear that story at the end of my uh, first debate, my 2008 debate with Bart Ehrman. It's, it's a funny and interesting story. But I was stupid. I should have given <laughs> my wallet, you know. <laughs> anyway, man, we've known each other for I don't know how many years. Well, where, where did we first meet? I think it was ETS. Probably. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Maybe Gary Abram has introduced us. Was this right after your John commentary came out? It may, it may have been. He had sat in on a session that I did on the reliability of the Gospels. Like way, it is, the Gospels is biographies, actually. Way, really? way back, yeah. Um, somewhere, probably early 90s. Yeah, no, I, I met you after that. Yeah, I didn't. But I mean, that's that's where I met him. Oh, okay. And then and then I think it you was you did a you did a lecture on the Gospels biographies as biographies back in the nineties. Yeah, oh, that's Early pretty 90s. cool. Yeah, man, man ahead of his time. So is you had you were you like working going further or or were you were you familiar with Richard Burridge's work? What are the oh, Gospels yeah, yeah, of that? Yeah, okay, yeah. So, so okay. Yeah. And I'd read through most of. Plutarch's biographies. I mean, read through most of the yeah, ancient Plutarch. sources. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and of course I'd read Suetonius, but yeah, those were. Uh, but I, I just assumed everybody knew. Now you said Suetonius. I I hear so many different ways of pronouncing that name. John Ramsey, you met him, right? Mm -hmm. The classicist, and he he told me it's pronounced Suetonius, but I've heard so many other people, and I don't read Latin, so. Well, I'm. I guess he's not going to object either way, right? Because he's dead. 
he's dead, but I, I think I'd go with John Ramsey over, over myself. I mean, he's probably pronouncing it the Latin way. I'm just pronouncing Sway it. Suetonius, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I had a friend who called Tacitus Tacitus. I was like, oh yeah, drink some Agricola. Get that, <laughs> you know, <laughs> make yourself feel better if you've got a case of Tacitus. I mean, <laughs> anyway. But, I mean, it was it, probably in Latin, it's more like Tacitus, but yeah. yeah. Kiko, too, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. I, I know I've mispronounced it. <laughs> Gary Habermas, years ago, corrected me. <laughs> I said pericope. <laughs> and he said, Mike, it's pericope. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I remember the days when my uh, word program would automatically try to, try to uh, correct uh, pericope to periscope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so... All right, so we, I, I'm, I'm, your commentary on John. When did that come out? Like around 2003, yeah, or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it was really delayed. I, I finished it in '97. So Andres Kostenberger rightly pointed out, mm, he's a little bit behind on, on some. Of, he doesn't have some of the newest stuff. That's true. <laughs> the commentary was delayed that long coming out. Wow. The editing process was slowed down. But. I can only imagine, man. You are. Yeah, you're just amazing, all these citations that you have. It's just, man, I wish I could get into that head of yours and just take some out and put it in yours, mine. I think your brain's younger than mine. If you want to have a brain transplant, you could switch. <laughs> I would take it. <laughs> but it, I don't think it's that younger. I mean... Um, oh, that's right. I'm, I'm 58. I'm 59. You're younger. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> you're younger. But, but you've got a lot more than a year. I got started in, in this discipline a lot later than you did. And besides, you're you're just you're just well, you're Craig Keener. I mean, there's, yeah. I mean, seriously, there's not too many people like you that do the kind of massive research. I don't know how you do. It. In fact, Bart Ehrman recently had said to you that, or that said about you, someone called him a workaholic. Said workaholic. No, Craig Keener. He's a workaholic. Yeah, I enjoy the work, but sometimes it is too much. Yeah, you're amazing. So. Tell me what the, got... act, the axe commentary. That one almost killed me. But... That thing's insane, man. You started, I think you told me you started studying that in the 1980s. Well, it? yeah, I started taking my notes and everything in the 1980s. So... For axe? For, well, for everything? For everything. Okay. But, but yeah, uh, but I started writing on axe around 2000. Yeah, in 2000. And I finished. Well, if you include the indexing, I didn't finish until the last volume came out because I was indexing it volume by it's volume. It's amazing. Which, you How know, does it make you feel? 2015 when it came out. I, you know what it amazes me too, Craig, is you got these four massive volumes on Acts. I don't know what, it, what 5,000 pages? 4,500. 4,500. It's However, small print. <laughs> and in a small print, and the indices and the bibliography are, are all on CDs, right? Um, yeah, but also the hard copy of the Ancient Sources Index. I told them, look, I spent like 14 months, of, you know, counting all the volumes. It took me 14 months just to do the index. So you need to include this in the hard copy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it is in, it. in one of them? Well, the Ancient Sources one is, and the author index is. Okay. Yeah, in volume four. That's just amazing, 4,500 pages. And, and during this time, I mean... It was like 60-hour weeks. Yeah, but, you, but you're still putting out stuff like, you know, the book on miracle, the two volumes on miracles. You came out with the thing about spirit hermeneutics. No, you no, that was after. Spirit after, hermeneutics was after. After all four? I don't... I think, after yeah, all four yeah, yeah, volumes yeah, after were published? All four, yeah. Okay. But, uh, okay, so you got that. Plus the historical Jesus of the Gospels. I think that was before. But then you also have, like... This new one, Christobiography, that came out. And these are all big. <laughs> They're all big books. And, and so massively documented. So it's not like you're, I mean, you're working on multiple projects at the same time in, in some cases, right? And, I don't know how you do it. And the research it. files, I mean, there are things that overlap, which was a problem back when I was doing everything hard copy, you know, and index cards. But now you've got a computer, well, P 
people who, with computers, they don't know what advantage they have. That's I, true. Didn't, I didn't have one until my dissertation stage. When was that? Uh, 90, around 1990. Well, I, I remember when I came to your apartment up in Philly when you were teaching at uh, Palmer that you had all these file, or no, maybe I saw it at your house in, in, in Kentucky, all these little boxes with file cards in it. Yeah. Right? You would have seen that in Philadelphia. Okay. Because, um, yeah, that, they were along the wall. That's, Whereas that's in, in Kentucky, it's in my office over at the seminary. Oh, whereas okay. I keep, uh, most of what I'm working on is, is electronic, although now I'm needing some of the stuff that's not electronic yet. So um, some of my old files that make me sneeze when I open them. I didn't know, I didn't know index cards decomposed like that. But so you're, but you're not using index cards now, right? You're using computer. Right, yeah. Okay. When cool. I, anything new is on computer. Awesome. Well, I'm glad we're friends. <laughs> I've learned a lot from you, and I uh, just admire your scholarship. I learned a lot from you. That, that Oxford uh, work on biography really made my job a lot easier with Christo biography. Well, yeah. well thanks, brother. Uh, I mean, you helped me with that, too. I mean, I asked you a lot of questions. I remember sitting down in, in in Philadelphia. We were somewhere. I think it might have been your office at Palmer, or, or maybe we went out to dinner somewhere. And I remember I had this list of like 50 pages of differences I had cataloged in the Gospels, but I had a handful of them that were really like, I don't know what the heck's going on here. And we discussed some of these, and you gave me some ideas. But um, some were. So. Some uh, some of that, I think it was when we went to your friend who was a campus minister, and I think we sat down some of that afternoon. In Temple or something? The or not evening. Temple. Uh, it was, I don't know, it was yeah, way, what university? It was way out. Westchester? I, I would speak at Westchester, Temple. Oh, boy, what, what are some of the other universities there in Philly? Oh, there's a bunch of them. Yeah, the big ones. But you, uh, this was a little bit... Out of Philly, I think. Oh, okay. Uh, well, anyway, it doesn't matter. Sure. Um, anyway, Actually, Westchester is a little bit out of Philly too. But I want to. I think a lot of. Uh, I, I'd like to talk to you about your new book, Christo Biography. So, let's get to that in our next video. And thanks okay. for joining us. <laughs>